solo session is very important. I did so many sessions earlier before in our school, right? But this is an extraordinary session which I wanted to perform in a different way. Okay? And uh, you know for sure that uh, the first week of December, I took some children from our school to New Delhi about participating in international, in, uh, Indian International Science Festival. You remember that? A lot of children have come from 8th and 9th class. Next year, you will get an opportunity for the same kind. Okay? IIT Delhi. So the thing is, there our children have come across a lot many different wide variety of exposure in science and technologies. One such kind is that uh, our children are mainly satisfied uh, the way that Iris National Fair children have come there. Okay? With all their energies of making their projects in science and technologies. Okay? And out of all that uh, country droppers around near about 100 and 110, they have come there at participating at national level. And then out of that, uh, near about uh, 12 got selected to Intel Science and Engineering Fair at uh, America. Okay? That's going to happen, I think, in April, this coming up. Okay? So the all will be participating there and competing with the international talents. Okay, how interesting is that? So if you try from now, then, then there's an opportunity for you guys as well. Okay. So ultimate goal of uh, my today's session is preparing you guys to an international competing, like a Google Global Science Fair and Intel Science and Engineering Fair, and hosting a good school level science fair in our school itself. That's going to be Science Fest every year. Every year the school celebrates. But the thing is, it's going in a regular conventional way. But I wanted to make it in a different way, you know. So, most practical and it must be basically talk of town as well it must be talk of the state and the nation and the reaching international to the scientific temperament today what I'm going to talk about all that, okay. So, uh, firstly I must uh, thank our correspondent Ravi sir for uh, initiating this kind of interest to reach out to the children and give the scientific temper, raise the scientific temper within the children, okay. And at the same time, I wanted to give a clear definition between there are two important things like one is scientific temperament and the other is scientific method. Okay. So, in fact, uh, once Abdul Karam sir told me in the 31st of March 2013 uh, saying that we had good interaction on that day. So, in one of that sentence what he said is that uh, uh, children are born scientists. Keep a smiley face, man. I told him my pre request to put it. And before I start my session, I need some two, two or three promises from you guys. Okay? One promise. Uh, right now, shall I ask you after two minutes? In between, in between, I'll ask you some few promises. Okay? Okay, one first promise I want from your students because this is A1 A2 batch and uh, basically they are preparing for IIT background and all. So IIT education, uh, I don't know how many of you have uh, know, but I have shown to some children that kind of labs and all. I introduced the director Gupta ji and all for our children, right? And also I introduced our children to Mr. Bhatkar, who is the mind, the supercomputers in India. You heard about the name called Param? Param computer designer, Mr. Bhatkar, is extraordinary great in the computers of India. Okay, all super computational computing has taken place in India because of the great man. So uh, he is the chairman of all IITs in India. So I will introduce our children to Mr. Bhatkar as well as Mr. Gupta, director of IIT Delhi and all. Okay, after that we met our uh, science and technology minister. And he is, he spent a lot of time with our children and enjoyed our children and got all the LPs and all whatnot. And after that, I also introduced to a lot of uh, many other science and technology scientists, basically. Those who have developed so many great things. That and all, I have already uploaded to my YouTube and the channels. I will show you where they are. You can all see them later. Okay, not a big deal. But here the interaction, the wanted to live one-to-one -one, uh, interaction, what I wanted to give you. See, the thing is, how I can uh, keep you at international platform? That is only possible with a proper scientific method. But if you don't know the meaning, the word, the meaning which contains what exactly you mean by scientific, there is a question that uh, you can follow the scientific method. Do you follow me what I am saying? Yes or no? So that is up to you to decide how good you try to understand what exactly the mean uh, scientific. Okay? That's one thing. Second thing, I will try to show you the way. Okay? But uh, as Abdul Kalam sir told me that, you know, children are born scientists. That means what? Basically, by birth itself, everyone has got their own scientific temperament. There is something different. Scientific temperament is different. Scientific method is different. With scientific temperament, only children raise the, they, they can be put out a proper method, which is scientific method. Okay. The children who follow the scientific method reach competitions at state and the national and then international. You understand? So you are in India missing the scientific method. That's where you only know doing the things at namesake in India. That's the biggest trouble what we are 
we have observed and what we are finding everywhere all across district level. And in fact, after 150 science fairs, my person visits to all of the places and districts and national and the state level. And all. finally, I got to come, uh, come to a saturation level. Now here and then I don't have to really go because there is no much change. It's a regular standard repeating procedures. Science fair is only this much. All with the regular, uh, you know, things. So, this should not be the case, okay? But uh, I have taken it because I am in touch with the school and the school takes my services much better in way. So, that's where I have come with another unit because I always keep on developing a new programs. One such is this. That is what, you know, my consultancy to prepare a good science fair at school level. That's called science fest at school level, okay? So, a lot many times you are all done, but that is a regular name kind of activity you are doing. But now and then we will be doing the science fest in a problem solving model. You understand? So first promise what I want from you guys that given exercise will be done with us in a perfect and proper and timely committed way. Will you give me the promise or not? Yes, sir. How many of you are going to give me the promise? Raise your hands, I want to see. How many wanted to continue the work? Oh, very good, excellent. Excellent, good. So in this case, then I can continue the session because lot many children are promising me. So the, now I will be showing you the way, in fact, okay. Now here and there, see, we are in society, in the school, society, environment, the place where we stay and all the stuff, right? So ultimately, right from our childhood, we keep on finding problems. We are keep on facing the problems. Sometimes we, face, uh, we figure out ourselves finding the solutions for our own problems. Yes or no? But now and then, your mistake, what you have done is that you never uh, documented any of the problems which you have come across in your life. But now what exactly is the scientific method? to raise your scientific temper in the given time like 2-3 days, maximum will be giving only 2 days. So here and then today onwards what you need to do is that before Monday, because Monday is the submission day for you guys, okay. So what you need to do, you keep doing your own meditation, scientific meditation, in which what you need to do is uh, recollect all your problems which have come across in your uh, lifetime so far. And then also try to figure out what else can be a problem, where else can be a problem, in a railway station or in a place where in a common uh, society problems or uh, sector problems or your community problems or your town problem or your school problems or your own health problem, whatever the problem can be n, n. because why, uh, you know for sure that science is the only the thing which can give you solution for any other problem, right? That's what uh, happens, right? That's what uh, is really becomes science once it's proven and accepted our world community, right? So then you will become a unique and uh, person in the universe. Yes or no? So how many wanted to become uh, unique persons in the universe? I wanted to see all of you guys. Oh, very good, excellent, excellent. So no problem. After this uh, one, one and a half hours, you will come to an idea like how do we, how do, you, how can you become a unique person? Okay. Let us do that way. Now I wanted to show you a small video. Uh, though it takes around 14 to 15 minutes as well, but that gives you. After that video, uh, I don't have to ask you. So you know, you have come with your books and notes and all. Just watch the video, okay? Uh, then uh, try to note down the most important points of the video. After that, I will start my other presentations, okay? Because initially that gives an idea, why do we need to really work hard to find the problems? I am just showing one or two problems in the video, okay? But the importance of the video is, how good it is essential to find problems on which we will work together to find the solutions, okay? Shall I open the video for you guys? But don't speak at all. Maintain the silence, otherwise you will lose the content. Watch the video and understand what exactly they are talking all about. <laughs> 